Hi, I'm Casey Duckett from Pirates of the New England Coast. We're a living history company that is dedicated to educating the public about pirate and privateer history. For the last seven years, we've been visiting schools, going to libraries, uh, working with educational sites uh, and historic sites, trying to teach people about what life was really like for pirates and privateers during the golden age of piracy. Uh, while we started out with about six members, uh, we've actually expanded our ranks to be 20 members and we keep expanding what we're doing year after year and improving it. Some of our greatest successes have been a successful walking tour of Newport's pirate history here in Rhode Island called Dead Men's Tales. And also over the last two years we've been working a lot of events aboard uh, Tall Ship Formidable out of Rockport, Massachusetts, also educating people about pirate history. What we're trying to do now is actually our most um, ambitious project yet, and it is the Pirate Schooner Defiance. And you're probably wondering, what in the world does that mean? Well, essentially what we're meaning is that we are going to build from scratch a wooden schooner, and we're going to name her Defiance. Now, a little bit of back history on this. For the last six months, we've been working with the Small Business Development Center, trying to um, purchase a vessel in order to expand what we do and how we do it. Um, unfortunately, after six months of working with the owner and working with the SBDC, we found that uh, the plan just doesn't work because there's not enough equity in the vessel. So that's why we're kind of switching to more of a um, small-time investment and crowdfunding platform here. And we've also decided that instead of trying to buy this vessel, that we're going to start from scratch and we're going to build a very brand new wooden hulled schooner. And to do this, we're actually reaching out to Captain Harold Burnham of Essex, Massachusetts, who's a very well-known uh, shipwright. He actually has several schooners underneath his belt, uh, the most famous three being the Thomas E. Lannan and the Schooner Ardell of Gloucester, Massachusetts, and the fame of Salem, Massachusetts. Now, after talking with uh, Captain Burnham on for a little while, we've decided that what we really want to do is we're going to build a sister ship to his last schooner, the Schooner Ardell. And the reason that we're going to build a sister ship to the Ardell is because it's going to save us time and it's going to save us money. And it's going to save us time and money because uh, Captain Burnham currently has the plans for the Ardell. He currently has the mock-up bits for the Ardell. So we don't have to worry about him spending six months to draft a new set of plans, get them approved, etc., etc. And we also don't have to worry about him making sure that you know his plans can work into mock-up pieces for it. Um, the Ardell already sailed. She's been in the water for two years. She's uh, Coast Guard certified for 49 passengers. So we have all that going for us and that'll make it a lot easier for us to also get our own vessel certified when the Defiance is finally finished being done. Um, so how can you help? Well right now we're in what's called phase one of our plan um, or phase one of the build and currently we have a very large pile of logs. In fact we have five very large pile of logs that are solid oak and these are going to be turned into the keel of the ship as well as all of the planks for the schooner. And in order to do this we're trying to come up with an initial $50,000. This is kind of our dry run where we're trying to make sure that we have a proof of concept that works and if we can raise up the $50,000 those very large um, piles of logs will belong to us, as well as we'll be reserving uh, a bunch of pine that is already in plank form that's going to be all of our deck furniture. Uh, the $50,000 is also going to go into uh, starting to buy some of the literally nuts and bolts that are going to go into Pirate Schooner Defiance. Once phase one is done, phase one again is taking logs and turning them into the keel of the boat, turning them into planks uh, for the schooner. Once phase one is done, and again, that's going to cost us 50 grand. Once that's done, we're actually going to roll into what's called phase two. And phase two is when the real construction of uh, Pirate Schooner Defiance is going to happen. And that's going to be this fall. And for this, we're actually going to need to raise about another $450,000. And why in the world are we going to have to raise this much? Well, because we're mostly going to be paying for the labor that it's going to take. While we're going to be relying on a lot of the members of Pirates of New England Coast to be lending their time um, and helping to volunteer and, and build so that we know this uh, schooner inside and out, we are going to be paying professional shipwrights to actually work this project and do it professionally. Um, and along with that, beyond just 
paying for the labor, we're also going to be paying for the electronic systems, we're going to be paying for the sales, we're going to be paying for the engine, we're going to be paying for the water systems, we're going to be paying for the fuel systems. There's a whole lot of, literally, again, nuts and bolts and hardware that's going to be going into this vessel. Because um, we need this in order to be certified by the Coast Guard, and we need Coast Guard certification in order to run passengers and to have people on board of her, uh, which is kind of the whole point of this thing. Um, this is also going to be start going to purchasing merchandise that the people that are crowdfunding us are going to be receiving in exchange for crowdfunding us. Uh, and we'll be having a Kickstarter campaign starting up on July 15th and running until the end of August. And throughout that Kickstarter campaign you can actually look at all the cool gifts. But the neat thing is is that in phase one, which we're still at and we need $50,000 for, we're going to be offering a lot of these same things as we raise up the $50,000 and we'll be offering them a little bit cheaper than they will be on the Kickstarter. Um, and basically this is going to be going through direct donations through the PayPal. Now uh, a little bit on the difference on why we're doing Phase 1 using PayPal and why we're doing Phase 2 in Kickstarter. As I mentioned, Phase 1 is kind of a proof of concept. We want to make sure that you guys are really interested in this and we're generating a little bit of hype before it. Um, but anything that we get through that PayPal uh, Phase 1 part um, while we are going to be sending you guys some cool swag, um, everything that we receive, we're keeping. That's going to be ours, and that's going to be securing the building materials. Because if Phase 2 doesn't work through Kickstarter, we're not giving up on the project. We're going to keep going. I think it will work through Kickstarter, though. Otherwise, we wouldn't be spending all this time with it. Um, once Phase 2 is done and the actual building is done, we're going to move on to Phase 3. And Phase 3 is going to consist of painting Defiance, as well as uh, putting her rigging on her, getting her ready to go, and then we start working with the Coast Guard to get her Coast Guard certified, uh, get our number of passengers uh, established, as well as to make sure that her stability test works, etc., etc., etc. And from there, we're going to have her in the water, we're going to run her sea trials, and we're going to, once everything is passed, uh, start moving around and doing what we do, educating the public about pirate and privateer history. So that's our story. Um, I hope that this is something that you're interested in. It's something that I'm highly interested in, highly motivated in. The crew's very excited. And for the first time in three years, I'm actually looking more forward to the fall and when the sailing season is over so I can get building than I am to the actual sailing season. And that says much because I love what I do. Nothing beats playing on board tall ships. So anyway, again, my name is Casey Duckett from Pirates of the New England Coast at beautiful India Point Park. Um, we look forward to talking with you guys, and our number is going to be on our website if you have any questions. You can also reach us through email, and we look forward to uh, working with you guys to build the Pirate Schooner Defiance, and please keep checking in on us. Uh, we're going to have a web series coming up on uh, various pirate facts as well as uh, updates as to how the build is going, and uh, have a great afternoon.